that is the fourth and final phase to a project that we started over 15 years ago. Um, it's been a long journey, but Valley Electric has grown over the years, and as we've grown, we've needed additional transmission capacity. Prior to the completion of this final segment of our transmission line, eight months out of the year, we did not meet an N minus one contingency. What that meant is, or what that means is that if we would ever lose one of our transmission lines, eight months out of the year, our 138 kV transmission line would not carry our system. Wow. And so we needed redundancy in order to provide that, the, uh, the reliability that our members require. So we recognized that 15 years ago, we started down this path and it's just a long path to get the regulatory approvals. But for the expansion of our transmission system. So this particular segment started at, at Prump substation, went to Johnny from Johnny to, to the Northwest substation interconnection with NV Energy and the last phase was the section that you've, you've alluded to that's up by the fan. So that's going to give us additional capacities and capabilities in the future and redundancy and reliability. So this might actually help expand as well? Oh, exactly, is that uh, the better that our critical infrastructure is in the community, whether it be electricity, communication, sewer, and water, then the better your community is in being able to expand, not only from, you know, a residential standpoint, but from a commercial and, a re and an industrial standpoint also. Today, just uh, having a helicopter up there, um, you know, hanging the lines and, and uh, the men up there, when will it be completed? The line was actually completed from a major standpoint at the end of the year. It was energized um, January 2nd. There's still some button-down work that they're doing on that project, but in all practical purposes, the, the majority of that line is complete and it is energized. Do you know how much the whole cost of this was? It's approximately $80 million. So a project that started 15 years ago and was estimated at $20 million mm -hmm. turned out to be an $80 million project, and that's just due to the difference in the cost of doing business then to today. Um, you mentioned the helicopter. That was done for a couple different reasons. Number one is speed and efficiencies of being able to get those facilities in the air and going. But the other one was the environmental aspect. Uh, uh, the environmental cost for us, Valley Electric, on that project was about $400,000 a month. And that's for tortoise mitigation and habitat restoration and then all the things that, that go along with that. Did Valley Electric also get some funding help with this project? No, we did not. No. And, and that's why it was important for Valley Electric to, to also look at getting into the California ISO is because these facilities are very expensive.